All right then, gang. So the next SAS feature I want to show you is the ability to nest CSS rules in other CSS rules. To demo this, we're going to create our first real UI component for the library, which is going to be the card. So you see these kind of card components in nearly every CSS framework or library out there. So it makes sense to make one for ours too. So let's start by making a card partial inside a component folder. So this file name is going to be called underscore card.scss. Now, before we start writing the SAS for this component, I just want to head to the variables and paste in two new ones, which we're going to use for the component. This one is for the box shadow, so it's called base box shadow, and this one is for a font size property, so that's called base font size. All right, so let's save that, first of all, then head back to the card component. So what I'm going to do is create a selector, which is looking for the class of card, first of all. And then let's just give this some CSS properties. I'm going to say display, is going to be block and then the padding is going to be base padding and by the way we'll be able to use those variables because when we import this card file into the index file over here it's going to be down here in the components section which is below the variables so we can use any variables declared in that file all right so that's the padding the border is going to be base border thickness and then we need to also say solid and give it a color. I'm just going to make it DDD, which is a light gray. We could have made a theme color for this, but we're not going to use it in loads of different places. So I'm just going to hard code that color in. And then the box shadow is going to be the base box shadow. So base box shadow like so. All right then. So we have the basic kind of display of this card, but there's going to be different things inside a card component. For example, we're going to have a title, which might be some kind of H1 or something like that, and we want to style that. We're also going to have a card body, which is maybe the text, and then maybe inside that we might have links. So there's going to be other different elements nested inside a card, and I want to style those. Now, in typical CSS, we might say something like this, card, and then inside that we want the card hyphen title, and then we could create some CSS properties for this and we could do the same for a card body so I could say card and then inside that the card hyphen body like so and then if I want to target anchor tags inside the card body but nowhere else I could do this tack on an A at the end so that's how we do this in normal CSS but in SAS we can nest these different selectors inside this one right here and it just makes it a little easier to create and a little more readable so let's try this I'm gonna get rid of those right here and all we have to do is create or nest our different selectors in here so for example if I want to place a card title inside the card I can just do that selector right here and then when this is output to CSS it's gonna be card card title and we'll see that shortly. For now, what I'm going to do is just paste in a couple of different properties. So we're going to have a font size, which is the base font size, a padding bottom, which is the base padding, and a font weight of bold. Okay, so let's also do the card body. So I'm going to say card hyphen body. And all I'm going to say here is the font size is going to be the base font size, like so. And then also I want to style anchor tags within the card body so I can nest again. So I could say here, A, and then style this. So I could say text decoration is going to be underline, like so. Now the default decoration or text decoration is none because in the base file right here, we target anchor tags for the web page and say the text decoration is none. But inside a card, inside the card body, we're kind of overriding that. All right, so that's how we nest these different styles. Now, if I was to save this, if we just open up the terminal, we can see it's built the CSS. So let's go and have a look at that. And we don't see that, and that's because we've not imported it into the index file. We have to import it down here because remember, this is the file that's being compiled. This isn't, we're not using it anywhere yet. And it's not being compiled because we've used an underscore remember, which marks it as a partial. So let's import it. I'm gonna say at import, and then it's in the components folder where we're gonna put all of our components forward slash card. All right, so now if we save it, hopefully it's gonna build it for us, yep. And we should be able to see it inside the index file. And um, we can see down here, yep, we have the card. We have the card title inside the card, the card body, and the card body A. 
So this is the output CSS for these nested rules right here. But this is just a bit easier to read and a bit easier to create. It organizes those selectors together. All right then, so now we can create a card inside our index file. So what I'm going to do first of all is delete all of this from a previous lesson and now we're going to use this index HTML file to kind of showcase the different things that we're creating for our Shinobi CSS library. So we can showcase the color classes that we're going to create later, the components that we make, etc. So I'm going to paste some comments in because we're going to showcase a few of the different things from the library. We're going to have colors at the top, then the font sizes, button components, card components, which we'll create in a second, the grid system, and also any utility classes. So let's start with the card component, which we just created in the SAS. So I'm going to do an H2 that says right here, cards. And then below that, we're going to create a card. So the first thing to do is create a div with a class of cards. So that was the card selector right here. That's what we do. And then inside that card, we can have the card title and the card body. So for the title, we'll do an H1, give this a class of card hyphen title. And then we'll just say this is a card title. And we'll also do a paragraph for the body with a class of card hyphen body, like so. I'm going to say lorem 20 to generate some lorem ipsum. And then also I want something in here to be a link. So let me do that right here. I'll say a href is equal to a hash and then we'll close this, take the closing tag and we'll paste it over here. So now we should see all of those styles that we created right here in effect. So if I save this now, we're going to preview this in the browser over here and we can see this card component right here. Now at the minute it stretches the full width of the page and that's okay but later on when we start to add other systems into the library like a grid system and some kind of container, some kind of layout container, it's going to reduce that width and if we like for now we could just go into the dev tools, into the card and I could give this like a margin of 30 pixels and make it a max width of something like 400 pixels and we'll see it looking a little bit better. Like I said, those kind of styles are going to come later on when we extend the library further. But now we can see we have this basic card component and all of these different things inside it are styled in the right way. And again, that was done easily by nesting styles. So this is one of the best things, in my opinion, about SAS. It's just easy to create these nested rules and organize all of our selectors together. And we will be using this kind of methodology quite a lot as we go forward.